the big show on Hauraki. Cheers, Tui, for bringing back the laughs in a world gone mad. Yeah, right. Welcome to the biggest show on earth. Our biggest show. The biggest. Biggest. This is big. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, get out, you mad bastards. It is the Hodaki Big Show. More medium today, if I'm honest. Old Hoity J. It is his week off, so you've got myself, you've got old Mogi here today as well. And the Big Show, of course, is brought to you by Tui, who have brought back their Year Right campaign. Keep an eye out for those billboards. They'll be all around the country. Now, if there's one thing you need to know about Mogi, it's that when he's had a big night, you can really tell by the sound of his voice, Mogi, you mad bastard, how you going? Yeah, you're going pretty good, thanks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Going pretty good, man. It was a big night. Yeah. I had a big night. It was one of those ones where you know what it's like, Keezy, when it's just you and the missus. Yeah. Uh, you just enjoy each other's company so much that the next thing you know, um, you've forgotten that you've got a job. Mm. Um, you're in Queenstown, and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and you think to yourself, maybe we should go to bed. What time is your flight? Uh, 10.30. Right. So pretty good. Yeah, okay. Straight out of the Airbnb, straight there. Tickety boo, um, but man, I completely forgot that I had to do this today. Genuinely, well, last night it was. We were not at no point did I say, "Should we better go to bed because wow. I've got work tomorrow?" It's just it never occurred to me <laughs> at all, which is pretty irresponsible. <laughs> but, hugely, hugely irresponsible. Can I just say? But if there's one job you can do, hung over off your ass. Oh, it's the big show. It's big show, baby. Can I just say, man, you look great. Oh, thanks. You man. look great. You sound great. I sound great. And yeah, I'm stoked yeah. that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a massive show ahead. Um, we'll be getting into Mike Minogue's birthday. Um, oh, fact, yeah. Do we have some birthday celebrations right now, in fact? Oh, yeah, let's get oh, into it. Oh, oh <laughs> Pugs Pugs is son. It. He's oh, brought a present for Mike. Look at this. What is it Cheers, there? Cheers, man. What is that, Mogi? It looks like tofu, is it? It's a desiccated chicken. Oh, it's desiccated, desiccated chicken. chicken. It's desiccated chicken on a plate with a candle in the middle it of it. It absolutely reeks. <laughs> And also, Mogi's very his massive honk is quite sensitive today. He could throw yeah. up at any moment. Yeah, I'll blow that out, and I wish for this all to be over soon. <laughs> <laughs> it will be over soon. Let's get to the tunes. It is the killers. Hey, send us a uh, send us a text, would you? Tell me to uh, feel better. Three four eight three. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Bit of powder finger on the Hauraki Big Show this Monday, the 14th. It is 12 minutes past four. You've got uh, Keezy and Mogi here today. Hoity J off for the week, having a bit of a holiday. And yesterday was Mogi's birthday, um, hence why he sounds a little different today. Still sound cool, though. Still sounds sweet, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you sound way cooler than normal. Uh, <laughs> heaps of texts coming through and also uh, a talk back. This from Michael, Mogi. Yes, yes. Yeah, g'day Mogi, mate. I just want to wish you a happy birthday, and I hope you got responsibly hammered in Queenstown on the weekend. Kia kaha, brother. I did. Yeah, it was responsible though, It was right? so responsible. It's good. That's why I feel like this. Uh, lots of texts coming in on 3483, a lot of sympathy. Um, feel better, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> cheers, man. Which is great. Uh, please feel better soon, Mogi. We need the yarns. Man, that's cheers from Reagan and Twizel, who's re-roofing an old milking shed. Uh, it's backbone. Back, that's backbone yeah. stuff from down there. Uh, absolute backbone frothing, uh, fronting up at work today. Happy birthday from Thank Jared. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. So good on you, man. Um, your birthday, how was it? It was pretty good. I uh, went down to Queenstown for the weekend. The missus left me, as you know, Keezy. Yeah. Um, and she took the kid as well. And they're sort of trekking all around the South Island there. And then, um, yeah, I met up with them in Queenstown. We landed. We couldn't check into the Airbnb until 3 p.m. Mm. I know this is the new normal, but that is absolutely disgraceful. Could, it is a bit of a ball, like you can't because you could you couldn't drop like your bags off and nah nah nah. Nothing. So anyway, anyway, I got over that quick. I don't want to ruin the whole holiday. Keezy. Yeah, it seems like it. And uh, we went out to this place called Earburn, um, which is about a fifteen or twenty minute drive out, and it's just got heaps of restaurants and stuff. The guy who owns it, he, I don't know where he got his money from, but he's going pretty good. Oh yeah, it, he uh, must it must have cost him thirty million dollars or wow. so to do what he's done out there. It's unreal. I've never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's pretty new, Keezy, I mean, you know. Right. Um, and so I went there. That was on the first day. Then went back to the house, had a spa, and uh, that was all good, except they had an air conditioning unit in the room, which you couldn't turn off. Right. And it will just go for five seconds on, one second off. You get, you guys so are... So go, and... <laughs> and... 
all night. Right. So that was good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that one. And then the next day, what did we do? We went snowboarding, and my daughter had never been in the snow, and I'd never been in the snow when it was uh, snowing. So right, we got a okay. bit of snow, so it was bloody good. And that was the last day um, of the season. Um, and so I got back on the old snowboard there, Keys. I've always been a bit of a snowboarder. Um, and I was thinking to myself, the last time that I went, oh, I was like, what was that? Was that six or seven years ago? Talked to my brother, it was 14 years ago. <laughs> And I got up there and I absolutely stunk. Really? I was absolute garbage. I was, it was an embarrassment. It was a disgrace. I'd completely lost any skill that I may have once had. Really? Any ability completely gone. Because it seems. You know how you're meant to have the nose of your snowboard facing down the hill? Yeah. Nah. I had my toes, both toes, sets of toes, pointing down the hill. And then you do this thing that's called falling leaves, which you just sort of go left to right, left to side right, and to slow it down. Yeah. And I must have fallen on my ass a thousand times. And it, we're only up there for a few hours because then we had to go and meet some people for a feed. And so I just, in the end, I did one run, and yeah. it's not a run. I did what went down once. And I just like I'm not. I don't have time to get better at this for this to be fun. <laughs> yeah, and that's how I remember it being. I remember it being fun. It was not fun at all. And also they had the magic carpet, the carpet you know lift that goes up mm. beside you. It's a very slow lift. So people got to see me fall. Every single person that went up that lift, which was right next to me going down, they each got to see me fall over about nine or ten times. Just watching old Mogi over old and over Mogi again. Mogi just eating, gobbling up shit. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's it's not it's not like golf or something where it's such a small and like y- of course you're going to get rusty for some reason in my brain I haven't been snowboarding in about fifteen years either yeah but in my brain I'm like oh it'll probably take me like an hour to get back into it oh yeah no nah. yeah it was it was yeah absolutely disgraceful so I got to go up for a week my brother goes all the time and he said it always takes him a couple of days to get back into it right okay but I told him he goes how'd you go and I text him I said garbage mm. absolute embarrassment just and he was straight on the phone. Straight on the phone, he wanted to hear the misery of my <laughs> the misery of my voice. So I, if I said it went awesome, he wouldn't have been interested. But yeah, that was a, uh, a massive letdown. But I made myself feel better by um, going to a restaurant with my wife and having eight thousand martinis responsibly. Responsibly, though. every single one of them. And was there a tui in there as well? <laughs> I had uh, topped it off. That was the last drink I had. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cherry on top of a beautiful day. There you go. Any more birthday wishes, send them on through to 3483 for old Mogi. Get yourself a Tui prize pack. In the meantime, it's Aerosmith's Sweet Emotion on the Hodaki Big Show. The Hodaki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. It's 25 minutes past four on the Hodaki Big Show with Keezy and Mogi. Hoity J on holiday this week. Uh, and newsflash, Mogi running one heck of a hangover. Um, fortunately, Mogi, nothing Fixes a hangover like amazing stories about love. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever tried this? Um, not specifically for hangovers, no. It can either be really good or really punishing. Okay. Luckily, our mates at Diamonds on Richmond have come on board and they've given us a $10,000 engagement ring to give away to one lucky backbone who's been thinking about making it official for a while. They also get us to help pull off the engagement. Yeah. That's the most uh, valuable part of this whole prize. Uh, make sure you get yourself in the draw, by the way. Hodaki.co.nz. Enter there. It wraps up in a couple of weeks, so get stuck in. Here is a great entry, because we like to know what, what your plan is. Yes. Look, fellas, this is from Anonymous. Look, fellas, I love my girlfriend more than any radio host could explain. We just bought a house together in the beautiful hometown of Hoity J, Snozville. And I know we're at the point of our relationship where it's time to get down on one knee or drop a knee if you're a weirdo like Keezy and ask the big question. My plan is take her on a beautiful dog walk. They've obviously got a dog, I'd hope. Yeah. As we normally do. Huh? I hope that's not his nickname for her. No, I think it's like they've got a dog Oh. and they'll go on a nice walk with their dog. We don't know. We don't know, I like to assume. Take her on a beautiful dog walk as we normally do. So pretty. Normal. (laughs) But in the distance we see Hoity J and Mogi with a rabid dog with a leather collar on. Keezy playing this part. (laughs) So I'm nude with a collar on. Rabid. Foaming at the mouth. We get close. You're on all fours, eh? I'm down on all fours. I'm in dog. Yeah, good. We get closer and Keezy the pooch charges in and drops a ring from his collar. Then, dadoosh, will you marry me? Followed by a bunch of his wives. Yeah. Let me know, boys. Great show, by the way. Yeah. Cheers. 
that's a huge effort. That's what we want is people sending in um, sort of entries that have got that much effort, that much thought behind them. Absolutely. I mean, that one's not going to win. Oh, is it not? Nah. I mean, I like the stuff about you being nude. I bet you do. Um, and with a dog collar on. That stuff, that's good. Um, but I, I hate going on walks. Right. So that's not going to work for so me. So you're telling me that all these entries we've got that even mention a walk, you're vetoing. Out. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, uh, just keep these parameters in mind when you're trying to throw these together. They seem to change every day, but um, that 10K diamond engagement ring. Valued at a um, million dollars. Wow, it's back up. It's back up. Because on Friday it was down to five grand. Yeah, they made a mistake there apparently. Far yeah, out. But that's the thing with the diamond market, eh? It's volatile. It can be volatile, yeah. Rocks and yeah. diamonds, Mogi. No, that's exactly right. Rocks and diamonds. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a bloody good one to get your hands on. and Because uh, how much did you spend on your um, ring, Keezy? It was about 1500 bucks. Uh, yeah, it was about fifteen hundred bucks all up, including the ceremony and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ten k far. Right? That's, I you know. know. You must really you love. Have, you know, you could have seven weddings for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're heading into Diamonds on Richmond before the twenty fifth of October, say my wife, and they will pay the GST for you. It's a huge saving, and it's like you're buying it duty free. Get stuck in at hodaki.co.nz. Coming up next because Mogi's hungover. Best of the Big Show. <laughs> the Horaki Big Show Podcast. God, it's a hell of a tune for 21 minutes to 5 o'clock on a Monday. It is the Horaki Medium Show. Keezy Mogi here. Big birthday yesterday. Um, feeling like a million bucks today, so it's a bit of a birthday treat. And also, because we're actually contractually obliged to have a certain amount of Hoity J on yes. the show, uh, Pugs has prepared us a little Best of the Big Show moment. Apparently this is to do with Hoity J's origin story. And bingo. Yeah, I know nothing about that. I don't remember anything about that. Um, literally with the show, you, you say something a day later, you've completely forgotten it. Uh, but let's let's remember together, New Zealand. Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, Mike, uh, I'm pretty excited to make an announcement. I'm going back to my roots, mate. Oh, yeah? I don't know if you know this about me. Uh, I kind of started off my entertainment career as a bingo hall announcer. Did you? Yeah, man. Um, oh. So I'm going back to it. Oh, yeah? I, I've been approached by a couple of retirement villagers. To come in and do a bit of a do a bit of a bingo run, um, oh. and uh, I thought, why not? You know, they're paying really well. There's some very attractive older women out there as well, just quietly. I was there when you had that conversation with the person because we were walking um, down the street here. We went to get some lunch earlier today. Yeah, yeah. I think that person was asking you if it was time for you to move into the retirement home. Oh, oh, was that what it was? I think so. And I think part of the attraction was that they would let you do the bingo, but I don't think that was. Separate. I think it was... Oh, so you think they're actually asking me to go into the retirement village yeah. and just as a sideline do the bingo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I read that as they, they knew that I used to be one of the top bingo announcers going around and that they wanted me to come in and just start it up again in their old right. retirement well, maybe. village. I don't know. Well, that was how I read it. But what was Give your, me a number. What, what Give was me a number. Uh, 69. 69. Favourite of mine. 91. Pardon? 69 is a favourite of yours. 91. 91. There is no 91. It only oh. goes 1 to 90, Keezy. Come on, Keezy, Come man. on, mate. Just sort it out, Keezy. All right, 37. Two fat ladies, 88. 37, more than 11. That's, That's true. true. That is true. Thank what you. What about 150? <laughs> but no, be serious, please. 76. 76. Oh, Pick that's a classic. Six. Trombones. I don't get that one. Yeah, well. You wouldn't. Google it, Keezy. Google it. 67. Um, pardon? 67. 67. Stairway to heaven. 68. Oh, oh you won. Saving grace. What about 57? It's amazing, actually. You know what I was amazed by, Mike, because, of course, it goes, wh- which one were you wanting, Keezy? 57. 57. Heinz Varieties. <laughs> what um, does that mean? It all came back to me because there's a lot to remember because yeah, yeah. it does go from 1 to 90. Yeah. Um, so if there's people listening out there that want me to run a bingo game for them, just let me know. I do charge a, a, a little bit of top dollar. Yeah. Uh, but I am it's one of the quality it, announcers. Uh, 13. Pardon? 13. 13. Unlucky for some. Oh. What about 38? 38, Keezy. I knew that you were going to say 38, you mad bastard. Christmas cake. <laughs> I don't get that either. What? One. 38 Christmas one. cake. One. Pardon? <laughs> what was that, uh, Minogi? One. <laughs> One, Kelly's eye. Come on. You can't catch me out with that sort of nonsense. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're looking forward to it. You know cool, what I mean? It's, man. It's, it's good to go back to your roots sometimes. Three. Pardon? Three. 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 Cup of tea. Bingo! Uh, bingo! Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Sure I, I win. What's I the actually, prize? Ah. Uh, oh. 
be a cap or something. Hey, Sharks, can you <laughs> sort, sort my nogi out with a prize for the bingo there, Can mate? I get a pie hat and um, a date with Doris? That'd be great. Actually, if you guys want to come along, it's a bloody good night out there. What night bingo. is it? Uh, oh, be- busy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise this. Pugs has actually dated all these best of clips as well. That is from May 2022. Wow. Amazing. Wow. And referencing our old producer, Shucks, as yeah, well. Yeah, I couldn't remember it at all. And uh, I'm not sure about the uh, the Hoity J origin story. I don't really get where that came in. Well, uh, no, neither. <laughs> um, but I get the bingo part. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That sort of made itself clear pretty quick. But Hoity J origin story, I was like, wow, what's this going to be? But uh, he's got about a thousand origin yeah. stories, so it's hard to tell. Oh. Is this the um, the full length album version, Keezy? God, I hope so. Be nice just to kick uh, back for eight or so minutes and listen to Prince Purple Rain on the Hodaki Big Show. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Audio slave on the Hodaki Big Show. It's almost five o'clock with Keezy and Mogi Hoity J on holiday. And yesterday was actually uh, Mogi's birthday. How old, by the way? Uh, 48. 48. Which is quite good because I've been 48 all year in my head. I thought I was already 48. Right. And it was only about a month ago that I realised, oh, no, I'm only 47. Your wife and now I've turned 48. Yeah, okay. And so, sweet. It's like you got a free year. I got a free year, man. Bloody good. Heaps of texts coming through on 3483. Happy birthday, Mike. Oh, that's a goodie. How how old were you? 21? (laughs) You wish, (laughs) you mad dog. Backbone, you old sack of shit. That's good stuff. Um, Hey, Mike, happy birthday. How's the weather on your birthday from Sophia, age 13, from Raglan? Sophia, you mad dog. (laughs) Hey? Uh, Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. A little bit cold out there. It's got a cold breeze out there, Keezy. Yeah, right. Yeah, so thanks for that, Sophia. Uh, we've also got a talk back come through from Dennis. You can send them on the iHeartRadio app. Just hit the little uh, microphone icon there while you're listening to the show. It's from Dennis. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mogi. You beautiful bastard. You yeah, boy. Oh. <laughs> Good on you, Dennis. That's good stuff. Worth coming to work just to hear stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm trying to think if anybody did sing me. Oh, my mother sang me happy birthday. Marge? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. She always does that. Down the phone? Year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yep. while you're waiting for her to do that, what do you... While I'm waiting for her to what? To sing that, are you like... <sighs> or are you loving it? Uh, no, I, I like it. do you join it. in? I like it because when people sing you happy birthday, especially when, it's, when they're by themselves, mm. they definitely start speeding it up. Because once you get into Happy Birthday, you realise it's not a great song, and people don't really like singing it, and they don't really like hearing it. Right, okay. And so she sort of belt two way through it, <laughs> um, and it makes me laugh every time. And she gives me a few hip hip hoorays, I think. <laughs> Good on you, Marge. Keep Cheers, the tradition Marge. going. Uh, hey, coming up after five, apparently you've got some amazing new content. Some good content. Yeah, okay. I've got some new stuff. I'll, just, I'll be honest with you, Keezy, man. I'm not really feeling it today. Okay. And anything I can do to get through it um, and just get to the end of it with as little effort on my part as possible, okay. that's what I'll be doing. So I've got a, a couple of ideas that could be regardless of theft. But yeah. Yep, great. Um, we've also got uh, some, brand, some breaking news about a brand new trip we will be giving away involving us heading down south with a couple of listeners as well, so make sure you stay tuned. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. It is the big show. It is also Monday the 14th of October, two minutes past five. Keezy and Mogi. Hoity J on holiday this week. Yep. A much needed week off. Yeah. Mogi running on how many cylinders out of eight? Oh, I don't really know cars, Keezy. Uh, but if eight's good, then it's probably half that. Four, probably, probably two. Two actually. cylinders. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too bad, but I mean, I'd rather be at home, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I love helping people out on their drive home and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But when I'm hungover, I like being on the couch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, big birthday yesterday. Packed it in responsibly at four a.m. and then uh, pretty much flew up to Auckland and came to work looking like a million dollars. <laughs> but. At least when he arrived here, old Pugsan came in with some desiccated chicken with a little candle in it. To say and happy and then he ate it. And then he, he ate, ate my it. cake. It looked like you were going to throw up looking at it. It was, uh, it was, uh, I don't think there's ever been a cake like it. Pugs, put it that way, brother. Well done, man. So good. Delicious stuff. Of course, the uh, big show is brought to you by Tui. I wonder uh, if that chicken knew that it was going to be cooked, have its uh, flesh cut off, put on a plate. And then have a candle jammed in it to be a birthday cake for old Mogi. How good. That I, chicken would be so proud, eh? I reckon it would be stoked. It's oh, better yeah. than, you know. Thrilled. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> There's a segue yeah. into the show sponsor, Tui. The Year Right campaign is back. Keep an eye out for the all-new billboards. Uh, billboards. Oh, God. Billboards. <laughs> oh, Keezy's pissed off his head. I'm sorry about that. Well, to be fair, I do have the second day of a hangover going, so my brain is slow. I called Prince Audio Slave just before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a pretty no, easy, easy mistake. To to yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very yeah. similar stuff. Coming up next, though, Mogi's got some revolutionary new content yep. designed to really inject some life into the show. In the meantime, 3483 New Zealand, any birthday wishes or anything like that? How's the weather where you are? What's the time, New Zealand? All that stuff. Send it on through. Get yourself in the draw for a Tui prize pack. Here's the Arctic Monkey. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. It is sublime on the Hodaki Big Show. Nine minutes past five. Just Keezy and Mogi. Hoity J on holiday. And Mogi, I understand you have some groundbreaking content for yeah, us. Yeah, man. I uh, just wanted to try something a little bit different um, and get some things over the line. You know, Jay's going to have to be quite hard to get things passed. So I yeah. thought we could try this while uh, while he's not here. Um, and this is, I think it's, I think it's going to work. I think it'll be good. Right. Okay. Do you want me to play? You the, just play that, that the thing? stingy thingy I sent you. <clears throat> this sounds super familiar. This sounds really. The four pillars of Queenstown. Okay. Hang on. This, uh, <laughs> Are we just directly stealing this off the breakfast show? Huh? The former breakfast show? Huh? The four pillars of... Qu- so what are we going to do? We're going to get people to text in with four things that nah, make... No, no, no. Well, they don't know because they weren't there. Okay. So I've just, I'll tell you what the pillars are. Oh, right. Okay. So we're stealing the idea. Hang on. Oh. Okay, go ahead. They're not using it anymore. Yeah, true. And so it seems silly to waste it. Yeah, okay. Because you do that sting again? What, the thing? That thingy. The th- yeah. And the other one, the first one. The tr- <sighs> It's really long. Do I have to do it? It's good though, isn't it? It's iconic. Yeah, but you don't want to play it so too you want much. So you want to keep using that. You okay. want to keep that. Um, so I've got my uh, my four pillars. Uh, my first pillar um, is. Because I was just down there on the weekend, Keys, I don't know if I told you. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, with my wife and my kid there and everything like that. Beautiful, really nice. The first pillar, um, not many people get down there, and I recommend it. It's a great place. Beautiful scenery would be pillar number one. Right. Do it's you got want to really sc- beautiful scenery Do down we- there. You've got um, mountains. Yeah, the Remarkables. Well, they're pretty and good. The, the rain. I don't oh, know no, if they're remarkable. Oh. But then there's the lake as well down the bottom. Um and that's got heaps of water in it. Yeah, wow. You know fish. you could put the um you could put the sky tower in it. What do you mean? You could put the sky tower in it. What it's do you of, what, it's what one of the locals was saying? Oh, you really? Could, you could put the sky tower in it. I don't know how you do that. But, yeah, but you could, though. Um, so, yeah, it's really beautiful. So if you haven't been before, get down there. It's beautiful. Okay, so um, pretty scenery. Yeah, No, beautiful scenery. Beautiful scenery. <laughs> Do you want us to say, like, text in 3483 any suggestions or, no. it, or just keep the soul? Okay. No, we don't have time. Okay. Because uh, I've got to get home and get on the couch. <laughs> um, the second pillar, adventure tourism. Right. They've got all the stuff down there, and you won't know this, Keezy, but they've got, um, like, bungee jumping. Yeah. Um, they've got, like, jet boating. Oh, the shot of. Um, white water rafting. Wow. Um, they've got this um, boat that goes through the lake there and it sort of goes under the water. Oh, that... sub- submerges. Is it the dolphin-looking one? Yeah, kind of like a dolphin one. Yeah, More okay. like a stingray, really. All right, I must be talking about something completely different. <laughs> um, the third pillar, Otago Pinot Noir. <laughs> It's um, wine country down there, Keezy. Yeah. Um, Central Otago. It's Central good Otago. Stuff, and they have um, Central Otago wines. Um, and they're really, really good. Yeah, okay. Um, renowned the world over, actually, for being bloody good. So if you go down there, you've got to, um, you've got to hang out the back of a few Pinot Noirs. Hang out the back of them. Yeah. Um, and if you've just joined us, by the way, Mogi's doing the four pillars of Queenstown. Don't text in. He's doing them. All right? <laughs> and actually, don't. I don't want your opinion on them either because you'll clog up the old... Uh, the text machine, yeah. Machine. So just stay away from 3483. Um, final pillar? Um, final pillar is my massive hangover. Right. That's this is, pretty specific to me. Yeah. But I think everybody that goes to Queenstown would probably have 
a massive a massive hangover. Your so massive hangover. There was, there was also like um, some some people that were uh, unlucky to miss out. Some other p- potential pillars was all the hippies that are down there. Yeah, okay. All the rope heads, we call them. Blonde hair and dreads. Yeah, and dreads and sort of like hippie pants and stuff like that, which was good. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a hell of a. You should get down there, man. I oh, know I've been down there heaps. Yeah, um, when. Uh, I think I went last year. Yeah, ages ago. It's changed heaps since last year. Has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, well done on your new segment, man. I was um, pretty excited. Can you do with... that um, what? thunder one? But I've started the... The thunder? Okay. So good, Bogey. <laughs> Here's the breeders. Got a winner, man. Cannonball. Four pillars of how to be hungover and do radio. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. The Exponents, Victoria. It is 20 minutes past five this Monday. you got Mogi and Keezy here. Hoity J got the week off. And don't forget the uh, Hodaki Giga Little Fund is back. Thanks to our mates at Super Liquor. At any point on Hodaki, you can hear the roar of the encore. If you hear it, call us on 0800 Hodaki and we could put $500 towards your next gig. Cheers to Super Liquor. Um, Mogi... Something happened to me on Friday night with my wife, oh, yeah. which has never happened in our relationship. Sure. We've been together for 13 years. Mm. Um, quite often on a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday or Monday through Thursday as yeah. well, there is a chance that old Keezy will come home uh, a few sheets to the wind. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Steamed. Yeah, I Responsibly. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Friday night. I got a text from my wife at four o'clock. Hey, going out to uh, just going to go have some oysters and wine with uh, my girlfriends. Yeah. It's like, cool. No worries. Let me know if you want to live home later. Getting some brownie points. 10 o'clock, get a phone call. Hey, you should come join us. Oh. We're at this spot. Come down. Oh, okay. So How get, come she didn't invite you earlier on? Because uh, apparently one of the other girls invited one of their boy, boyfriends down. Right. And so now it was like, oh, the boyfriends I can come. I guess we better, yeah. Yeah. And so um, she wanted me to come. To, she obviously wanted to show me off to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Because he's proud. Yeah, yeah, I guess. That's it. Um, she was steamed. Oh, yeah. Like the most steamed I've ever seen. Because she her. wanted you to go down there and show you off. Mike, must have been a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Responsibly, of course. Uh, and our like the way our relationship works is she doesn't get steamed. Right. I get steamed. Yeah. Responsibly. And she deals with it. And so tonight, uh, sorry, Friday night was the first time where, and it was great. I was stoked. Yeah. I, I was like, this whole new side of my wife I've never seen before. She was an absolute useless piece of S yeah, what, all day what kind Saturday. What stuff was she doing like when she got home? Was so she, she was singing the old... No. She Terrible wasn't, songs like you do when you get home? She wasn't singing Engelbert Humperdinck like I do when I'm steamed uh, responsibly. She, first of all, refused to hop out of the car. She's like, I'm going to sleep in the car. <laughs> she was just knackered. And so I had to lift her out of the car. She then screamed as like, get off me, like I was assaulting her. Good. Really loudly. In, like it was, this is like 1 a.m. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, we managed to last quite long, which was quite cool. Got her up to the front door. While I'm unlocking the door, she sits down on the ground and says she's sleeping outside. <laughs> I finally lift her up again, get her into the area where you take your shoes off. She sits down, she's sleeping there. Get her inside. I'm unlocking all these doors and doing all this admin. Take her through, put her in the bathroom, just say, have a shower, I'm going to bed. She, I just hear nothing for like 10 minutes, and I go in there, she's just asleep on the floor of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and then eventually, wow. after, after about an hour of battling, she's showered up, she's in bed, she's had water. I got her some McDonald's on the way home, Yeah, uh, and she's in bed. And then all day Saturday, she's completely useless. Yes. Never has that ever happened to me in this relationship. Wow. Interesting, right? Yeah. And I feel like a power has shifted because now I'm the one who didn't play up over the weekend. Yeah. I mean, I did on you Saturday did. night. On Saturday, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, boy, did I. But, you know, for a brief 24 hours there, it was like, ha, I can lord it and I got to experience what that's like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you relate to this at all? Or? Uh, no. 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 The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. It is Queens of the Stone Age on the Hodaki Big Show this Monday afternoon. You've got Keezy and Mogi here, old Hoity J, having yeah, a yeah. week off. And uh, Mogi, I've got some breaking news, Go man. Go on then. This is breaking news. It sure is breaking news. How would you, New Zealand, like to win a trip to the Wild Food Festival with the Hodaki Big Show? Sounds like a hell of a prize. Uh, myself, Mogi, Hoity J and Pugsan heading down to the beautiful West Coast, the Wild Foods Festival in Hukitika, the 8th of March, 2025. You can join us for some good eating on the coast, Mogi. How good. I've never been down there for that. 
How adventurous are you with your food? Uh, I don't know if you do. You need to be adventurous with food. I don't. I just sort of feel like uh, back in the day, you needed to be adventurous when there was a scarcity of it. I don't know. I'm not adventurous. I, I'm not either. I'm like chicken, lamb, pork, beef. Yeah. I mean, I've eaten chicken's feet before. Right. I mean, I sucked on its toes. It was, you know, and it was, it was a still chicken. alive. A chicken or yeah, a chick? It was a chicken. Okay. Um, and that wasn't that good, uh, but I gave it a go. And I'll try other things, but I'm not. I know that they do. What do they do? They do like sheep balls. oysters and stuff like that, which is yeah, the balls. There's a lot of ball focused stuff. <laughs> yeah. Which, to be honest, I'm surprised you're not into balls. You want me to be into balls? Yeah. No, I'm just surprised by it. <laughs> Anyway. You're surprised that I'm not into balls. <laughs> um, if you'd like to join us down there in the uh, beautiful Hokitika, flights, accommodation, tickets for you and a maid as well, then make sure you... Uh, Nde. Nde. Hodaki.co.nz, head there. All the details are up there. <laughs> or text balls I to 3483. Right, I think if we do go down there and they do have some balls, um, that... There will be. I mean, I'll, you know... If you get some balls in your mouth, Keezy, I'll reciprocate. Mike. I'll reciprocate. What will you eat? What balls will you eat, Keezy? None. Keezy, you're Mike. not eating any balls. Mike, I like I just said, I'll have pork, lamb, beef, chicken. Balls. And then draw a chicken line. Chicken balls? I, no, they don't have balls, do they? Well, you'd know. You're a freak for the balls. Don't start. <laughs> Do not start. Keys is a freak for chicken balls, all right? That's not something we need to start here. We need to keep it focused on the Wild Food Festival. Early bird tickets are available right now, wildfoods.co.nz. See you there, Saturday, March 8th, and hook a ticker. And once again, head to the old Hodaki webpage there for details on that competition. We will be starting it up very soon. Yeah. If you had to eat the balls of an animal, though, what animal? Human. <laughs> <sighs> Here's the Foo Fighters. The Hodaki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Element OP 1157, it is the Hodaki Big Show and it's almost six o'clock this Monday afternoon with Keezy and Mogi. Hoity J might have the week off, but we are contractually obliged to feature him in some way, shape or form. So after six, a best of the Big Show moment from July 2022. Wow. <laughs> I know, Mogi, uh, involving his eye oh. and a weird thing that happened to it. Wow, that'll be good. Yeah, crazy, eh? Someone else's eye, according someone to Pugsa. Someone else's eye. Yeah, so it's even more huh. exciting. Huh. So he's obviously done something can't remember that one. to someone else's eye. I can't remember yeah. what we did yesterday because that was Sunday. I, I got hammered. Yeah. I mean, responsibly. Resp- responsibly. All that plus what's on the telly with old <laughs> Mogi, so stick around. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. That's right, it is the Big Show, Jace, Mike and Keezy. Two thirds of us are here today and one third, it's probably more like one quarter, one fifth if you're going on pure body mass uh, away on holiday. The Big Show is brought to you by Tui, by the way. Keep an eye out for their Year Right campaign. It's back, baby. Yeah. Which is bloody exciting. Uh, Mogi, how you feeling now, man? We're two hours in. Um, Well, it's good. The end is nigh, you know. Mm. And I'll be looking forward to going home. The uh, the wife there is ordering up some uh, Indian for dinner. Oh, yum. Um, so I'll be rolling into that, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I just... I, uh, considering that I went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning, mm. um, I'm in pretty good nick. I think I don't, so. I don't feel... Like, I don't feel terrible. I'm tired, because yeah. I had... I, amazingly, my daughter slept till 8 o'clock. Normally she gets up at six. Now wow. I, I would be in a t- hell of a state yeah. if that had happened. But yeah, I got so I got four hours sleep, mate. I'm brand new. Got an hour of sleep on the plane, another couple of hours when I got home. Oh, sweet as man. Sleep. More, I'm brand had, new. I'm better than I normally am. Yeah, you've had more sleep than you usually yeah, have yeah, on a regular right. day. Of course, it was Mogi's 48th birthday yesterday, which is very exciting. Uh, the outro podcast outro. We still did one today. Old Pugsan came through from Studio B to Studio A. And we did a hoor of a podcast. Here's a wee clip. It comes out at 7.30 tonight. And this is regarding Mogi spending the entire uh, night last night with his wife having frivol- frivolities. Frivolities. Frivol- partying. Her brother came over, my brother-in-law, and uh, he left at about 11 or 12. And the next thing, it was 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. That's so great. What do I have to do? Like, Why won't my missus get on the piss with me? Cool. You, are you a wounder when you have it? <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
That is something that's never actually happened to me for some reason. That is, I find that amazing, eh? I wonder what the go is with people out there. We maybe we'll talk about this a little bit on tomorrow's show. But yeah, yeah I wonder idea. most people. I wonder. I don't know. Maybe it is a fifty-fifty split. I just and assumed everybody did. The thing I, don't, I never want to do is like peer pressure. Come on, get on the, get on the have with some me. beers with me or whatever. Like I'm never yeah, going to do yeah, that because yeah. I know she doesn't like being hung over. That's what stops her. Right. Um, so it has to be a really special occasion, and just hanging out with me is not a special is, enough occasion. It's definitely not special. Yeah, it's one of our, we love. It, it's one of those things that just always ends up just happening, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's just all been on. drinking and talking for hours, which is great, so good. which is so, so awesome, good, good stuff. Uh, up next, we've got another best of the big show moment. This in time involving Hoity J and another strange encounter from 2022. In the meantime, hey boy, hey girl, it's the Chemical Brothers on the big show. <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Green Day, Basket Case. It's the Hauraki Big Show with Keezy and Mogi, our resident basket case. Hoity J is on holiday, but we do, uh, we're do we contractually obliged to feature him on our show. So we've got another best of the Big Show moment. This time from July 22, uh, Mogi, 2022. Any memories from that particular year? Not at all. Not at all. I'm sure there was some COVID around then, was there? I think just maybe the back end of it. Yeah, right. Um, it might have been the Auckland lockdown that year. Yep. I can't remember. Yeah, I've no. got no idea. All I know is that Hoity J had one of his many random encounters on the way to work. Here's a clip. I feel a bit bad, actually, mate. It's coming in there from the old Sky City today. And uh, as you can tell outside, she's windy and gusty and blowy out there. Yeah. Um, and I was standing at the lights there, uh, you know, with my umbrella. Bloody thing blew out because uh, it was so gusty. There was a woman standing next to me, took her left eye clean out of the socket. Mate. Really? Just, like, scooped it out. What? Screaming her head off. Oh. oh, God, you know. And what really pisses me off about it is that I'd only just bought the umbrella. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, and, she lost her eye. Um, you know, and the guy that I bought it from, the store that I bought it from, he said, oh, yeah, the people, you've got to buy a quality umbrella. Otherwise, you know, you'll yeah. get that situation. There I am, the first time I'm using it, boom, fa, the damn thing's destroyed. Yeah. That's 16 bucks out of my bloody bank account that I'm not getting back, is it? I do find, particularly in Auckland, whenever there's any kind of wind up here, the umbrellas don't respond. Oh, so they I just, think, they think don't, people mate. buy it for a, a city which is, by and large, it's pretty wind-free. Yes. Um, whereas if you're in Wellington, well, you generally don't bother, or you buy something a hell of a lot sturdier. But, you know, I will say buyer beware, mate. I mean, that's just that's something you're just going to have to uh, take on the chin, really, and, and just learn for next time. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, the, you know, as I say, this is why I'm so annoyed about it, because he said it was quite a reinforced little beast. Yeah. Uh, and he said, you won't be going wrong with that. 16 bucks, you know, a bit more than I'd normally pay for yeah. an umbrella. Um, you know, and in fairness, the spokes were sturdy as buggery. Yeah, you know well, they sounded I mean? like I mean, they were pretty good. Uh, I think it was maybe just the sort of lining because when it took her eye out, I mean, it took it clean out. Did it stick it? Uh, the eyeball was it stuck on the end? Yeah, it was of, on the end of the. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm, well, I'm that would have looked quite funny. Yeah. yeah, well, it did look quite funny actually. Uh, but I just biffed the entire thing in the end. I mean, I'm not walking around with a broken bloody so, umbrella, and, uh, you know. I'm sorry, but so what happened to her? Did, did you call an ambulance? Is she going to be okay? Can they reinsert an eye? Well, no, it's in the bin now. You threw the eye in the bin? Well, it was on my bloody umbrella. There was no good to me, the umbrella. It was blown out, Keezy. But couldn't they have reattached it or something? Well, mate, as I say, it was pretty... Yeah. Pretty cleanly scooped out of there, so no, I don't think so. How old was she? I mean, you know, hard to be, say, hard to yeah, say. Yeah, you don't, and, and, you know, when I chucked it in the old bin there, there was all sorts of shit in the bin. So you chucked um, it eye so first? You know, well, yeah, because it was pretty grody to look at, you know, because it's got that stem thing going on. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think you'll be plucking that out of the old, uh, out of the old bin there. You don't want to be shoving that back in the socket. How old was she? Is she going to be okay? I've no idea. I didn't ask her her age. I was late for work. You've got no idea. How do you think she's feeling? <laughs> 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 so good even two years later <laughs> on the Hodaki Big Show. And don't forget, by the way, if you want to go back and listen to old stuff, you can listen to every podcast we've ever done, every show we've ever done. Just search Hodaki Big Show wherever you get your podcasts from. They're all there for your listening pleasure. Does does that ever freak you out that all of our podcasts and shows we've ever done are just there and people could just grab them? But, well, they're only going to be there until we get the ass, and then and they just be. delete them all. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like you think about other shows that have sort of happened in our slot. They're gone. They're in the bin. Oh, really? Because I, I, mean? I wanted to go back and listen to the best of Thane Kirby on Hodaki Drive. That's a shame, man. Um, damn it. There goes my weekend plans. <laughs> 
The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. It is Skid Row on the Hauraki Big Show this Monday afternoon. No Hoity J, you got Keezy, Mogi and also Pug Sun. It's time for this. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Used to be real good at that, Pug San. Remember that, man? That was literally just me trying to let you have that, brother. Thanks, man. Those hey, um, I watched an amazing show called American Murder. Mm. Lacey Peterson. 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 Is that uh, the remakes of the murders? Is that the remakes of the murders? So, <laughs> <laughs> Where they make the mini series about the murderers and cast those people that look real. Like, oh, nah. This but, is ju- it's just a docu series. Okay. Um, and three episodes, and it's about a guy whose wife, he comes home, his wife's gone. Right, right. She's gone. He doesn't know what to do. Right. And um, look, it doesn't end well. Mm. Um, spoiler alert he killed her. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which forgotten. is always the way, isn't it? Um, and because it sort of turns out that he's also running another missus in another town. And he's sort of like, oh, I might have her instead. And right. yeah. It's anyway. Better ways to go about that. He didn't do a great job of it, to be fair to him. Um, and his family still believe he's innocent. And the amount of evidence that's, that would point to the opposite is right. unbelievable. And has, uh, he been, but worth, eh? has he been pinged for it? Yeah, he's he, gone. He's he gone away. Gone? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just a good true crime. They don't spread out not enough information over too many episodes. I hate which nice. is my most hated thing. But, yeah, give it a crack. It's on Netflix. There you go. If you're um, hungover. Buzzies out of five. Oh, it's none. You know, cool. yeah, yeah, just yeah. if awesome. you want to switch your brain off. Ah, oh, okay, sure. Um, I'll, I'll go next, Pakistan. I watch, uh, I watch Grand Designs New Zealand. You watched? You're sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> you I'm so what? I'm sorry. I watch Country Calendar. Is what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh dear. I think, oh dear. I think it's fine because yeah. people realise I was watch, about to watch yeah, Country sure, Calendar. Man. Yeah, well, I think uh, if we go back to the tape. <laughs> I nah. think we might have to play that on tomorrow's uh, podcast. Oh, okay, well, 100%. No, nah, let's not make a big deal out of it. <laughs> I watched uh, Grand Designs wow. New Zealand. Just like it was a home up in the hills of Queenstown split between six couples. Oh. And um, the cool. Yeah. Cost $6 million to build it. Uh, however, they're only allowed in it eight weeks per year. And I'm like, if I'm dropping that much right. money, you know, a mil each, I want to be. <laughs> and then I watched um, Country Calendar. Sounds like yeah, a big, boy. big lineup of viewing, man. Yeah, wow. what, did, what did you watch, Pugs? Uh, I watched Beautiful Boy with uh, Steve Carell yep. and Timothy Chalamet. I wanted yep. to watch it for a long time. I'd heard many things. Uh, very movie? Un- movie? Is yes. it a movie? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So it's about. Um, it's based on a true story about a father dealing with his son's addiction uh, to oh, meth and other drugs and I the progression of Jace that. Jace watched this. Jace his addiction. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, beautiful movie. Very, very, very tough to watch in parts. Right. Um, Timothy, fantastic actor. Steve. He was good. He it was nice seeing him get into some real emotional, real heavy stuff. Mm. Um, but Timothy definitely the star of that, obviously. Right? Yeah. Where'd you watch that? Uh, at my house on Prime Pugs. Sorry. <laughs> and you mean Prime the TV sh- channel or the streaming service? Ah, the streaming service on Prime. Nice, mate. Yeah, good so shit. You do it, man. So I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> nah, I'll be sweet as. Hey, good you. Yeah, good on you, fellas. Thanks for having my back on this one. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. It is the Killers on the Hodaki Medium Show. Keezy here with Mogi as well. Hoity J having a week off. Uh, Mogi. Yeah. Last week, you, myself, and Hoity J actually got to go to a placemakers and do a bit of a, a trolley grab, man. One How minute good was that? to grab as much stuff as we want. There's actually a video up on the Hodaki Big Show's uh, Instagram and Facebook right now, so go and have a geese. But uh, pretty happy with your haul, man. Yeah, man, it was pretty amazing haul, eh? Um, what I got? I got a tarp. You remember yeah. that? Yeah, you got a tarp. I uh, got some rope. Some gloves. Um, some gloves. Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. And like a spade. And a spade. Yeah, a shovel. I'll call that a, a shovel. shovel. Yeah. Um, what's the difference between a shovel and a spade, Keys? Well, isn't one of them square and smaller? I think so. A, sh- a spade. Yeah. And then a shovel's the really big one. Big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. You got it, man. Yeah. Thank you. Well, if you'd like to go in and grab your own shovel spa- uh, slash spade. Then text the word GRAB to 3483 because uh, the legends at Affirmo are basically giving you a chance to run into a placemaker's 
is uh, you've got one minute and you get to grab $10,000 worth of goods. It's a hell of a prize. Grab to 3483. And, of course, self-employed tradies, boost your biz. Sign up for your shot at a Fermo's 10K tradie trolley grab. If that was me, I'd just go um, straight to the power tool section and just grab all of those. I think so. I mm. think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think I really – what am I going to do? Yeah, I would go – I would do the same thing because it means you've got stuff that you're actually going to use long term. I don't know where I put it though because I keep my toolbox in with my towels at home. At home. So where would I put it's all in my, the linen my power tools? Well, you know what you do is you run in and you grab a garden shed. Oh, that's a good idea. And you put that in your trolley and yes. you dash out with that. Yes. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. And then you fill it with our power tools. If you're keen to go and have a crack at it, grab to 3483. Shout out to Placemakers and also shout out to Affirmo as well. It closes the 6th of November, so make sure you get stuck in. The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from 4 on Radio Hauraki. Well, that is the end of the big show for uh, Monday, the 14th of October. No Hoity J. He's away for the rest of the week as well, having a holiday. Uh, Mogi, yeah. you, you could use a holiday, man. Well, I just need a little bit of sleep, I reckon, there, Keezy. Yeah. And I'll be sweet. I'll yeah. get off to the gym tonight. Uh, You're actually going to? Pro- no. Oh. No way. Shit, I was so <laughs> impressed. I was like, what a psycho. <laughs> that would actually do me the world of good and do that and then go and have a sauna yeah um i'll be going directly to the couch On i the, think yeah i'll be going to the couch instead and not doing very much at all yeah I've got to decide what food i'm gonna eat keezy you look well when you're hung over all food becomes good food because you just need food well i thought that but then i was thinking about this little chicken burger place down here right i was yeah. thinking about that and yeah. i was thinking to myself i think i'm gonna be sick what Eating. Oh, you think you will throw at, it up? Yeah, at the thought of it. It's just like, wow, that's not it. That's not it. And I normally don't get nauseous at all. But, what about like something? But the thought of that. Something like like a pizza. like just Pizza would be good. I'm thinking carbs. probably Indian. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Spicy? Yeah, spicy. And just have an absolute blowout. Yeah. And just empty the chambers there. Get some naan. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go home, watch Celebrity Treasure Island with my wife. Oh, yeah. Then she's going to go to bed early, and then I'm going to go online with Pakistan. Why don't you get on the hammer until 4 o'clock in the morning? Honestly, if she was up for it, I would definitely do that. <laughs> I have to bring this up with her. Why won't you drink with me responsibly? That's a good question. Mogi's wife does it. She loves it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it is so good for a relationship. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It is. It? It is. Okay, yeah. I'll tell her that it's our relationship's on the line. <laughs> um, hey, thanks for listening to us today. Thanks for putting up for with uh, one dude who's quite hungover. One dude who's got a second day hangover and three dudes who just love making great content all together. We'll see you tomorrow at four o'clock. Until then, download the podcast. See ya. Bye.